Okay, we got the uh, original one out. Let's put in the new you get it from the top and see if you can locate that when it comes through there. You just grab the hose. You see it? Can you see it anymore? Okay. okay. This has no ring, so it doesn't need to be forced on. It's good and stuck. Okay, that's now replaced. Now we can go ahead and clean that. I'll put a little bit of lube on that and we'll reconnect that. like that. When you open this up and get this moved up in your tank, what you'll see is this area right in here. And what I did was I put the screwdriver in this area and just push down on it. And that lets it pivot. So the assembly, I, I found nothing on YouTube really clearly showing that. But basically what you want to do is put the screwdriver in there, just push down, and then that'll pivot. You can pull it out of your tank. So what we're going to do now, I've gone ahead and purchased a new pressure regulator housing from Harley. It's like 17 bucks. Uh, there's a bad history with Harleys of these fingers breaking and allowing the fuel pressure to bleed off and you don't have uh, sufficient fuel pressure to uh, deliver the fuel you need to your injectors at higher RPMs. I'm gonna, so I'm going to replace the fuel pressure regulator housing. This is the fuel check valve that I just cut because we replaced the fuel line check valve. This is the fuel filter. I'll be replacing that. I purchased all these parts from Harley along with new screws for the tank, uh, for the fuel uh, cover, along with a new gasket for the fuel cover. I also purchased some extra crimp clamps just to be safe and just make sure I, I have them if I need them. If I don't need them, I'll just take it back to Harley. They're only a couple of bucks. So from here on, what we want to do we want to go ahead and just lift and rotate that out of the way. And we we'll want to go ahead and pull. back that allows us to pivot and remove the fuel pressure regulator, fuel pressure regulator housing, and the fuel filter. Now what we'll do, we'll go ahead and we'll crimp, we'll cut the crimp clamp off the fuel pump and we'll replace assembly. Okay, we're going to go ahead and cut through this crimp clamp. We don't want to break our fuel pump. Uh, so basically we want to be very careful that we cut through that without destroying anything. So I'll use my wire cutters cutting it at a, at a 90 degree angle.
try to cut through that crumb. That way we can just move that out of the way, get that off of the fuel line and replace some uh, fuel filter assembly. Assembly. Get a new fuel line. Get all the O-rings. You get a couple of clamps. You get the, everything you need to replace fuel pressure or fuel filter. So we'll go ahead and replace that and uh, continue on. Okay, we've removed the fuel line from the fuel pump it with the new one. Now we're just going to use these end cutters to tighten up the crimp clamp. And it doesn't need to be super tight, it just needs to be tight enough to hold it on there. So that doesn't move, so that's good. That's done. Okay. Got to get that pushed on there. That's tight. That's up over here. Might be a good idea to, if you've got a hair dryer to go ahead and heat that up so that it'll go over the all end of the fuel filter. Get that far, that's good enough. Again, I'm going to use the end cutters. Just crimp that. Keep that from going anywhere. It's tight, it's good, it's done. Next thing we'll do is we'll install the fuel pressure regulator housing onto the fuel filter. Do that by sliding the O-ring in place and then just simply installing the fuel pressure regulator housing onto it. install the fuel pressure regulator onto the fuel pressure regulator housing. We're just going to use the original fuel pressure regulator as it don't go bad too often. We think this one's still good so we're just going to reuse this one. It's the fuel pressure regulator and it lives in the fuel pressure regulator housing. So we're just going to simply reinstall our original fuel pressure regulator back into the fuel pressure regulator, regulator cavity. Like that. Now we can go ahead and reassemble. Assembly. up to the bike, we'll reinstall the new crimp clamp on the check valve assembly that goes from the check valve up to the top of the tank. We'll reinstall that there and then we'll go ahead and replace the gasket with the new gasket and we'll reinstall the assembly using new screws with the new gaskets on the screws. Reconnect the high pressure supply 
to the outlet for the fuel pressure regulator housing. Get it on there and then crimp it. Okay, we're now going to reinstall the fuel pump assembly into the tank. And we need to install the fuel level. into position. Your hand and arm are in the way. It's okay. And what you want to do is assemble the reverse of the disassembly. Okay, okay we tighten our T20 sealing nuts to the proper torque and using the correct bolt pattern. Uh, reinstall our vent line back onto the tank. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to reinstall the console. We're going to hook up the negative battery terminal. We're going to reinstall the 15 amp fuel pump fuse. We'll add gasoline back into the tank and we'll fire her back up. Alright, moment of truth. Get her all back together. Everything but the cable tie right here. I'll do that in a minute. Got everything hooked up. Pressurized. Success.